Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Got my coffee. So that's the important thing. And uh, we got a bear. We have a bear to talk to. Loved by bears, hated by the villagers of Shad. Hated by birds. Do we want to kill this bear? Our bear rep took a hit recently, but it's still okay. Aggressive, aggressive ones won't attack you for now. Kind of just want to leave this bear alone. Oh, God. Oh, my good, good Lord. Uh, I just got slammed by a palm tree, by the way. In case you're wondering what just happened there. Are we using our stinger? Yes, we are. Um, oh, that sucked. Do not, do not get slammed by palm tree. Is that slumberling like super dead? No. Also, is this... Yeah, okay, Slumberling is, uh, friendly. Um. Well, it's, it's nice, you know, it's nice to be loved by Slumberlings. Nylon body pack. Are we wearing on anything on our back? Yeah, ra woolly rainbow cloak. I guess we don't need to worry about that. We just got an Eigen pistol. We just got an I Eigen pistol. I, I recognize that icon anywhere. Do we know what it looks like? Eigen pistol. We do know what it looks like. Let's go ahead and treat those as scrap. I know that's weird, but we're gonna disassemble that. Uh, I am gonna check out what kind of uh, what kind of uh, cell did it have? Thermoelectric cell. Love to see it with some lava in it already. Um, curious. I am kind of wondering whether I should use this freeze ray. You might be wondering why would you use a freeze ray? Well, the the, the you know the reason is is because it's really good uh i really liked freeze ray a lot uh and it is a heavy weapon um i do like the ja the, the jacked chain laser i'm wondering um these are both fairly valuable but we're getting very up there in terms of our weight so i don't know uh decisions these are all like super heavy um, the freeze ray would be good to disassemble. We'd actually get some bits that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. I need an, uh, an advanced toolkit. I don't think I have one yet. I'm a little bit worried about auto, um, auto exploring. Oh, we got pearl frogs. This might be not okay. Let's do defensive stance. Um, and then lunge just to back up a bit and then fire at them oh they got they tongued me back um well we, our cooldown got reset so let's just go ahead and do that again surely to god they can't tongue me twice uh a gibbon ha just that's it just a gibbon uh i guess we're not okay with a gibbon no we're okay with a gibbon gibbon's cool with us gibbon is friendly we are on good terms with apes, so it stands to reason we should be okay with gibbons. Uh, we did get some experience. I'm going to not auto-explore. We got some more pearl frogs. They are fighting a tree, though. Just going to go ahead and take advantage of the situation because they're actually very good experience. And we're very close to leveling up. Your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points to buy a mutation before rapidly advancing? Uh, no. I, I think I'd rather put it on... I'm just going to throw it on our stinger for now. Uh, multiple legs would be nice. No, I'm going to throw it on our stinger. And I think I would like to put... Um, throw some extra points on our... On triple jointed, actually. Having a bit of extra agility would be nice. We can't throw it on electrical generation. So, like, that, that is a... We can't do it on Temporal Few. We can't do it on Clairvoyance. Those are all, like, um, kind of, like, fake mutations that we have right now. Triple Jointed hasn't gotten too much love. Heightened Quickness. I forgot that we had Heightened Quickness. Oh, my God. We should put some points on Heightened Quickness. We have enough on uh, multiple legs. We're at, like, 120%. Uh, 100, plus 120 move speed. Heightened quickness would give us what? Plus plus two extra uh, quickness. I'm just going to rank this up a lot. 
Um, oh god, this build is actually gonna pop off with that. That's that's really good. Like we we now like move so quickly. Did I just get slammed by a palm tree again? I did. These palm trees are really unkind. Let's take our chain laser to them. We get close to 300 XP per a palm tree, so it is kind of worth taking them out. But it is a lot of uh, a lot of energy we have to dedicate to that, so I don't know. I feel like there's, our, our time is better spent. If you're just joining me, I am checking out a historic site um, in the Banana Grove. This is Ekar Sawan. Um, there's a not 0% chance that it will be filled to the brim with really, really cool um, chrome idols. But I'm getting this... Oh, that was that was risky. Pearl Frog and the Red Daka are kind of working together there. That was a... Uh, that was a joint effort to try and kill me. Honestly, I'm a little bit spooked by frogs. I think they can swallow you whole, but also they can take your items away. They're gen generally speaking, just kind of a problem. But our quickness is good. Oh, they can also stun us. Worth mentioning. Oh, we've got a chain laser turret, which is good. I love to see it. Um, I'm going to go and disarm that and pick up their uh, their gun. We'll dueling stance, swipe. Did we disarm them? Yes, we did. We still want to be on good terms with our robots. We're not on good terms with robots yet. What could we drop? I feel like we're just carrying way too much stuff. How many energy cells do we have? Good lord. Oh, we have a lot of solar cells. Let's... Oh, look how many chem cells we have. Good god. Um, we could start with this. Let's disassemble these combustion cells. Um, we're still overweight. Solar cells are really valuable. Wait, what? Did I just equip it by accident? I did. Re-equip our uh, scaled carbide shield. I should take some skill points. We yeah. We I don't know if I've taken shield yet. Have we taken shield yet? No, we haven't. Let's take shield. Um, deft blocking. Your chance to block with a shield improves to seventy-five percent. Let's take that. Uh, shield slam is actually really good. I like it a lot. Let's take that as well. There's probably other skills we need to take. We'll take them all. We'll get we'll get all of the ones we need. Don't worry. Um, I would like to make sure. Um, is there anything on our? I feel like proselytize shouldn't be on our quick bar. I'll just have to remember that we have it. But I would prefer it not to be on our quick bar, and instead we have uh, shield slam, because shield slam I'm going to be using a lot. Let's just put it uh, where, where, uh, what you might call it was. <laughs> Proselytize the thing I just had. Uh, the reason we want to use shield slam often is because of our single weapon fighting. Um, we are going to be able to shield slam potentially multiple times, so that's really nice. Hey, hello, Gibbon. How how are you doing? You 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 know fight anything throw any rocks lately we haven't found our uh, staircase down yet so those red, red dacas are worth 300 xp which is quite nice there's our red oh we've got ourselves a gelatinous prism those are average to us uh, not not too too tough but we're friends with ooze so that's nice i'm actually really looking forward to uh Rainbow wood. I'm looking forward to not having a horrible time of rainbow wood. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. I'm actually going to have fun in the rainbow wood. It's going to be great. Oh, in fact, we could even uh, consider making ourselves a uh, like really good ooze friend, you know? 
try and uh, beguile ourselves a news friend and have them join us. Make them really, really tough. Hey, there's another um, harvestable yonder brush. Good lord, that's great. Again, the, uh, the pearl frogs are kind of working with the trees here. Ow. Oh my god! Where are we? We just got slammed through a wall there. These palm trees do not mess around. We have a chain laser turret tinkerer, probably. These, uh, these frogs kind of suck. Let's go into defensive stance, sting, bop, and then lunge. No cooldown. They tongued us, lunge. <laughs> You're never going to get me. You are never going to get me. I think that frog missed with their tongue attack and accidentally tongued the palm towards them. Oh, those are, those are, those things suck, actually. But I think I accidentally killed one. Did I get some experience for that? Are those, does those count as worms? Ouch. The nice thing about these, I mean, they, they do hurt you. They're guaranteed to do some nasty damage to you. But then that's it. They, they're kind of like a one flash in a pang, uh, flash in the pan kind of enemy. And then, and then they're very much done. Um, oh, shield slam is actually F1. Maybe we could actually leave it off, but uh, I would really rather like keep an eye on um, its cooldown. We shield slammed it. Let's sting this guy. Um, no, I mean, we don't have to like, you know, dedicate all of our thinking power to you know, killing these frogs. <sighs> um, I'm not seeing a staircase down. This this top floor kind of sucks right now, I gotta say. Oop, we almost got impaled. Got a couple of fire campfires. Ooh. Hello, uh, chain turret. Let's go ahead and do dueling stance. Swipe. Oh, we did not succeed in um, disarming it. Just gonna go ahead and fight this frog for a minute. Go into a defensive stance lunge. The poison really is good. I love the poison. And then uh, swipe. Oh, uh, whoops. I wasn't in dueling stance when I did that. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna kill. I don't think chain laser turrets are actually or chain turrets are, are worth keeping. But like they are bits. Um, the reason I, I go to that extra effort is because that's a really good way of farming extra parts. Um, so let's go ahead and yeah, you know, dueling stance and then swipe. Did we still? Oh, we did disarm them. Nice. Look at this menace of a of a combo. Really not a huge fan. Swipe. Did we disarm it? Yeah, we did. Um, don't know where what happened to the weapons. I think they got and they ended up on the screen above. Just gonna go ahead and take care of that tree. Really would prefer not to have to deal with that tree. We'll go back into defensive stance and then lunge. Boop. And they're dead. Cool. Uh, let's just have a look up here. Yep, there's a, a chain turret, and there's another chain gun. So there's some pretty good bits threes and fours i mean um you know uh you easy to farm but they, they, it kind of sucks when you don't have them we've got a lot of them actually so i don't need any more of those i am looking for ai microcontrollers um hoping we'll find some good oh god okay you know what We're, we've got books i think we need to reprioritize how much uh, space we dedicate to chain lasers. Go ahead and disassemble that. Go ahead and disassemble that. Um, we should disassemble a few of these. I'm actually going to disassemble all of these because we're going to have a lot of space that we need. Like we need, like I'm, I'm honestly tempted to put on our nylon body pack. 
Um, also, do we have an attribute point to spend? No, we don't. That's fine. We only have five DV. I wonder what happened to all of our DV. It's fine. Grab that. Yeah, we've got we've got frogs. We're still in defensive stance. Let's do our lunge. Yeah, they're gonna tongue us back, but that's okay. We'll sting this guy. Shield slam that guy. Resisted. Shield slam that guy. Oh, okay. These guys. The fact that these guys are part of this dungeon is not okay. Those worms are a problem. Uh, let's do a clairvoyance. Oh, God. It's, uh, you know what? This is fine. I'm not, I'm not, to, I'm, I'm cool with this. It's going to be very grindy. It's going to be a lot of, oh, God. It's going to be a lot of, like, you know what? We could do, like, our force bubble. I don't know if they can tongue you if you are force bubbled. We could, uh, temporal fugue. There we go. That'll certainly help. Are we on not good terms with some of our clones? Why are our clones not doing anything? Can they not reach? Okay, they can reach. Um, yeah, we'll just like let them handle things for a moment. There's, it's going to be, this is going to be very ta like tanky. That's a problem with Pearl Frogs, honestly, is that they, they just, oh, we destroyed some books, I think. Kind of want to grab those real quick. No, I don't want, I don't care about the Pearl Frog. I care about the books. I care about the books. I'm hitting Pearl, uh, Pearl Frog. Okay. Sets that matter. Grab. Okay, cool. Um, let's do a sting. Um, shield slam resisted. They seem to resist our poison pretty good. This is going to be, um, this is going to be a very time consuming historic site. It might honestly be worth doing a highlight reel of it. Cause like, you don't want to see me have to do this for the whole... Like, I guess I can. Uh, it's It might not take as long as I thought. I guess uh, if I use um, my sting stinger weapon, like actually do melee wep uh, damage, then it won't take nearly as long. Let's cook from a recipe, and I like this quickness, strength, and DV. Having a, the extra strength will be nice. Yeah, we're already we're taking less damage because of our extra dv i feel like they're missing a bit more uh we'll do like a lunge oh we didn't are we yeah, we're in defensive stance i guess it just didn't go through um swipe we are taking some nasty damage like they can try and uh they can try and tongue but honestly we have the movement speed to just kind of walk away Good lord. Okay, you know what? Not messing around. Temporal Fugue. Just let my clones take care of it. Uh, let's do Clairvoyance again. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, we got a lot of frogs. They're tonguing each other. We got some eyes wide shut thing kind of going on here, you know? It's, it's a weird... It's a weird Caves of Cud thing. Let's put on our force shield and... I know it looks like I'm just haphazardly uh, doing this. And I am a little bit. It is a little bit haphazard. But at, at least this way, I get to fight them one at a time. Back up, rest up. Hopefully some more of them are dead. Yep. Um, honestly, the, the frogs, they, they're on the losing side of this for sure. Like, I really don't see them posing much threat to me because as soon as things get even a little bit scary, um, I can just go ahead and force 
shield and then temporal fugue the force uh shield lets me fight them one at a time with melee so i can still melee them um so yeah that is this floor kind of taken care of there might be more to the right uh, i'm just gonna double check make sure that we don't miss anything because there might be a ton of books over there you never know doesn't look like it okay that's fine we i might have want to saved clairvoyance for down there so like hey there's some bookshelves up here that we haven't looked at uh take all those looking forward to handing in our books that that moment is coming up pretty soon um okay we got all our stuff let's do clairvoyance here boop, boop, boop. yeah all right let's do temporal fugue and um just gonna walk away I may as well help them, I suppose. I don't want to really be surrounded by them is the only thing. Okay, this is fine. The weird thing about the pearl frogs is they don't move. <laughs> I've noticed that. They just don't move. If they moved even a little bit, they would be a much bigger threat to me um let's turn on our force bubble but i guess they don't need to move yeah so you don't really want to be surrounded by them they definitely do more damage when uh they're surrounding you just trying to manipulate things so that they're uh hitting me like one at a time yeah, if they moved at all, this would be way worse. Because then I, you know, I can just like back up and then heal up. Now, this is a little bit dicey, but whatever. The other thing about Temporal Fugue that sucks for the frogs, honestly, is um, as soon as I swap places with one of my frogs, or sorry, with one of my clones, they can't really do anything. Like they can't tongue me because now there's a clone in the way. So that's kind of funny. So I'm just gonna like temporal. Oh, okay. Our my clone walled me off. That's a little bit unhelpful of them, I have to say. Grab some books. We got books going on. Oh, that was a room. We're famished. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the campfire and then cook from recipe. We'll cook from this recipe again. It's a good recipe. I like that recipe. I know maybe I, I went to a lot of effort to make a really good recipe involving mushrooms and I haven't really used it. Haven't really put, uh, you know, made sure I used it. Oh, what is that? Is that a bone worm? Oh, heck yeah. I love me a bone worm. That means we get some uh, bone meal. Let's go ahead and wait 41 turns for our temporal fugue to come back because I really don't want to deal. I guess I could... I might as well do some stuff. Did I just like force that pearl frog onto an ivory? That was pretty funny. What happened to the frog? Did they back up? That's like uncharacteristically uh, clever of them. Fill this room with my clones, back up, heal. Let them do some damage. I don't know if I... They didn't seem to do all that much. That's the thing about the pearl frogs is they're really tanky. Can't really do much about this. That's the idea is we're just going to like, um, there must be, there must be a Gersh in here somewhere. This new tile feels very representative of a Gersh. Where is that bone worm? Um, yeah, this is, like I said, it was gonna, it's gonna be a very time consuming historic site. So is this bone meal still, still below me? No, that's oolite. What is this? Oolite. Stony eggs are incubated in pearly planar sheets. No larvae ever hatch. They're abraded into dust. What happened to our bone worm? 
That's compacted bone right there. I saw, oh yeah, there's a um, space-time vortex over there. What's making that, I wonder? Nothing. Huh. Copper-plated boon gyu himboon. Gyu himboon. Okay, what is this? Found it. 1,000 XP. Oh, recovered it. 1,000 XP. Uh, grants you electrical generation at level 5. If you already have electrical generation, its level is increased by 5. Good lord. That's actually really nice. And it's got pen 10. It's not, uh, not too shabby. We could actually equip this. I don't know if our single... Does our single weapon fighting still work? You don't make offhand attacks in exchange for mastery. Yeah, so you can hold a second weapon and just not use it. But now our electrical generation is at six, meaning we generate a lot more uh, energy. And that means we can use our chain laser turret uh, a lot more. Like, things just got very interesting. There's our bone meal, our bone worm. That is amazing, and I'm I'm very excited about that. That is, that's really good. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna see some interesting stuff in this run now, because I I that might actually be enough electrical generation that I can use uh my chain laser like nonstop, like there might not be a. Uh, you know, I might not have to stop ever. Like, we can uh, try it. Force bubble. We'll see when it when it clicks, you know? May, may as well actually shoot at something. Let's see how much energy does it have. It'll show us in the... Yeah, we still have 14,000 charge. After all of that, let's see what like using one does. 14,000. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Use it a bunch. 14,000. Yeah, we generate. We we actually generate enough energy now that I can use my. Uh, I can use my um, chain laser ad infinitum. Like I can use it, use it as much as I want. Oh, good Lord. This things just got very, very cool. I am very excited about this. Um, with that in mind, uh, I actually think it might be better than our logical with the Persia something. This is a giving us our electrical generation, right? If we remove this, let's see what, uh, what, what's our electrical, yeah, discharge at 14,000. Um, electrical generation is at 500 charge per turn. Maximum charge is 12,000. So I think it probably takes a turn for it to go down. What's our charge at now? 12,000. Okay, cool. Um, so now if I use my gun a couple times, let's just see where it lies. And then it's it's at 12,000. So I can use this copper plated boon instead of our floating nearby point. And you know what that means? That means we can finally use um, our point defense drone. And we would like to use the, for, the the point defense drone. This is a very, very good thing for us. Uh, I would also like to mod with tinkering. We can give this... Oh, we can't give it jacked? Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, I thought we could make... I thought we could give it jacked. I don't know why I thought that. That is a bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. Um, we just need to get a good cell and then we can actually throw this in our, um, floating point. So, um, there's really no point in us using our, um, our old floating point weapon anymore. So, our, our floating, our floating point electrical generation, like it's, it's very good. It was very good for us, but this thing gives us five extra levels in electrical generation. And so... We've now become like the tank 
the tank with laser turret trying very you know what let's just I, I don't have to worry about you guys I'm not gonna ah that is that's one of the best things i could have found oh oh there is a electromagnet uh, magnet somewhere yeah here it is can't, I don't know if we can disassemble this. I think it counts as a robot. It's a very tanky robot that does no damage, but it does uh, seriously inconvenience you. Um, yeah, we're not using our copper. Oh, we have a psionic mag. Oh, we can't disassemble that. We can drop it, though. Why? Uh, why? Hmm. How come I'm holding that? Where did, where did I get that, honestly? We can't disassemble this, so we just drop it. It's worth something, but, I mean, it's not really worth keeping. The Stinger has almost become uh, a redundant weapon. Like, it's, a, it's still a very good weapon, and I still will be using it. And, uh, you know, I, I like long blades a lot, but, um, yeah, our, our main method of attack has officially become our, our, our laser. Uh, I will say it might be worth switching to the Eigen rifle at some point because, um, the main, my main problem with the Eigen rifle is actually power drain. It, it's a very power hungry weapon. I guess they can actually tongue each other and bring them over. That's kind of an interesting tactic that they have. I, I don't know if um, level 5 electrical generation is going to be enough to... Um, to power the Eigen rifle permanently in the same in the same way, but certainly it'll get pretty close. Like the jacked laser turret or the jacked laser uh, gun is also pretty power hungry. Probably not as much as the Eigen rifle though. Game is caves of cut. Always trying to get me to read things. I know we're we're taking a lot of needless damage here, but um, it's safe damage. Like I, I, the pearl frogs don't really crit you. They don't really like suddenly do like a hundred damage. They just kind of wear you down. They're they're kind of like mirthworms in that sense. Ooh, this is a busy room. We're not done yet though. Here's our next legendary uh, item. Let's go ahead and force bubble and just want to make sure I don't. Those worms are honestly the biggest. Oh, the game just crashed. Hello? Game just crashed. Cool. Uh, I mean, you know. Oof. Um, let, let me, I, I wonder when the last save was. I think it's pretty good about auto saving. Oh man. When, when do you think it, uh, We're level 25 at the very least. Ah, uh, I don't. Yeah, we have the glow sphere, so we got to do another couple floors again. Ah, uh, that sucks. Um, all right. Well, you know, these things happen occasionally. Uh, why don't we end the episode there? Uh, and, um,. Maybe I'll start the episode when I get that stuff back or we can just do that again. I don't know and be, Like Do you want to see it again? Oh, there's my phone I should really stop putting my phone in my pocket because it likes to fall out because it's like a 20 pound phone um, If you enjoyed this episode definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time Take it easy